I'm using my iPhone uh, XS Max to video this right now, but I just wanted to show you the difference in size between the GoPro 5 Sessions and the Acaso. It's about a third bigger the Acaso is. And let me tell you, this is a whole lot heavier than this GoPro 5, which I've got mounted on this uh, extension here. I'm going to use this Acaso. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it on to one of the side uh, camera mounts that I have set up. Uh, I, this one, you know, it screws into the bottom of a of a camera. Well, I've got an adapter for the uh, GoPro that will work on this. Uh, that will screw into the bottom of the mount for this, and I can mount this on the side. The reason <clears throat> I'd like to use both high definition cameras is because their quality is so high that uh, I can use it to my benefit in my video editing program, such as zooming in onto uh, the uh, cameras that I just showed you. All right, I'm going to get started today on uh, her face and see how far I can get. All right, I just wanted to show you the jury rigged system I got set up for my Acaso and my GoPro 5 sessions and uh, my Canon camera, which is on a uh, tripod. Well, uh, not necessarily a tripod, but a adjustable uh, rod that is, you really have to use your strength to, to change the position, but it works. And on this, I've got the flat, uh, thing that came with the Acaso, or actually this came with the GoPro. Maybe it did come with the Acaso. Anyway, I've drilled a couple of holes in it and I'm using it as a base on a piece of wood that I can attach with a C-clamp onto my sculpting stand. And then on this one, I've got a base that came with uh, the GoPro that I got years ago and I camp find and uh, I just drilled a hole and put a screw into it to hold it down onto the uh, piece of wood that I've attached to this piece of wood which means I can attach this anywhere and I've got an extension that came with the uh, my my original GoPro and I'm using this rubber band because because this little attachment here that comes up here and attaches to this ring it's it, it came apart the first day I got the damn thing and that's what clamps the uh, back of the uh, camera uh, closed well I don't really need it tightly closed because I'm not going to be diving into water or going out in the rain this is going to be an indoor camera so I just put a rubber band on it on it just to hold the damn thing up and keep the camera in the case um I got the uh, cost, uh, the GoPro uh, being charged up right now, so that's why you don't see a camera there. But I've got this all set up. It took me all day to figure out how to do this. I even got a, a, an additional uh, tripod that I could use if I have to for my GoPro or the Acaso. But anyway, that's what I've been doing today. Um, the guy across the street decided to run his either his snow machine or i don't know what but he keeps revving it up and it's a, it's the sound in the background is just too much so i decided to quit for today it's just too late in the afternoon and spent most of the day just figuring out how to attach everything to everything and and if i can ever find my other gopro i'll be set all right that's going to be it for today my hair's a mess because i've been wearing my close-up binoculars i got spaghetti cooking in the kitchen and i'm gonna go eat dinner good night everybody give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time